Welcome to two. I love you guys. We this is the best part of my week is talking to you beautiful women. You grown ass women, you guys. Grown ass woman. Why is that? It's a grown ass woman, (laughs) y'all. And guess what? God TV, you know, that's a hashtag right there in itself. Hashtag and a half it is. And a half. And a half. Maybe three quarters. Maybe a double tag. Double hash. Oh, oh, double oh, hash it is. Oh, oh, double oh, hash. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's a, you know what? Don't forget to likey, likey, right down below. Likey, likey this episode. Because you're not going to want to miss it. Mm-hmm. Likey, likey all of our episodes, by the way. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you can go back and watch all of our episodes, by the way. There's such good ones. Hey, we need to have this guest on. And I'm like, we already had them on. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Thanks for arriving. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Yep. Subscribe. Very important. There Today. you go. Yes. yes. And um, Mickey, do you have yours? Our favorite? The bell icon. Can you hear my bell when it rings? Not re- I know. I never. Yeah, I, well, I, I can hear yours. One. I might have to get a little dainty one, too. Did you break? Maybe David broke the cow, the, the bell out of the cowbell. Oh. Yeah, he wears it on his um his g string, you know, you know, since when he's he does lost that dance, that. you know, ever ever since he's lost all this weight on Le- legacy subs, can I just Ooh. tell you? <laughs> there you go. He does his he's TikTok right. dance down the hallway, and he's he's ding the dong out of there. Uh huh. <laughs> the dong. That's about the long and short of it. Uh huh. Like subscribe <laughs> bell. You're right because when you click that bell, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, what happens when you click that bell is you enable notifications. That's so you right. never miss a new episode of God TV and when we upload it, you're like, oh, there it is. And you get to be here live. And a quick hello to everyone in the chat room, because Hi. if you're watching live, thank you for being here. We're interactive every single week. Mickey Lisa we are. on the chat room. If you're watching on replay, we appreciate you so much or you're listening to the podcast. But just know that every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, we are here live in the chat room. And it's it's a whale of a time. Excuse me. like. <laughs> It really, really is. is. It really is. It's cool to see the same, some of the same viewers who have been here since day one, but it's also really cool to see all these new viewers that come in and have conversations. So we're in there. We're watching the show with you because yeah. we obviously were there. We were there. So we're watching it with you. We're going through laughing at the things with you all over again. And it's just yep. a lot of fun. It's just it is fun. Fun. And you get a lot of the backstory and a lot of the hilarious things like, oh, here's where I cry. Oh, here's where I did this. Or here's where we messed up. Whatever. It's it's a, it's the more candid version if you get to watch it live. So if you're watching on replay, thank you. But if you watch it live, even more fun. Right, Lisa? Can I tell you about the Patreon, um, our gift from last month? Uh, Mickey Mickey D wanted me to um, sign my all-star pint uh, cutting onions. <laughs> <laughs> See, cutting if you guys were in the chat room, you'd know that inside joke, which is whenever we cry, which hello. <laughs> usually <laughs> it means you're cutting onions we also talk very often about food talk it's these are like chat room you know loyalty little nuggets of information you would know if you're in the live chat room so if you can make it on a wednesday at 5 p.m eastern great if you can't don't worry we know life gets away unfortunately anywho for all of our loyal diehards diehards our go- gorgeous fans hashtag oh. gorgeous oh yes mm-hmm. we have a special gift for you and this this month it's from me last month was from lisa an amazing uh pint size action figure from Lisa, which thank you guys for being a, um, a top tier member last month. This right. month it's from me. So you're going to get not one, not two, but three personalized photos. You can see here mm-hmm. can it personalized. I will of course ask you how you want me to sign it and personalize it to you thrice. Well, as nice. six, really? Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, from me, if you're the top tier gorgeous patron on patreon.com slash God TV, that's where you can go to support our store. If you love the show and supporting our store, our show, uh, please do us a flave and be a part of Team God by joining patreon.com slash God TV. Mickey, you know, there's not only one way to watch this show. We've given oh. you several ways to enjoy well, our vocal style. Obviously. Well, you get this show here right now, live and in the flesh on a Wednesday, but you can get the extended version, obviously on Patreon. But now on Spotify, about a week later, 
you can get it as the Gawcast. And you can either listen, but on Spotify, you can also watch the full extended version of the show. Lisa, you're the best. Lisa's doing charades. So in case you didn't know what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> While you are watching like our show, cheeky, that's it. Right? No, look. Like cheeky, cheeky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you and just I was got a facial. Say, don't, ruin, don't ruin your facial. You just yeah. had a facial. That, yeah, I sure did. Oh, Doc really worked it. Jesse yeah. actually is her name, the, the chick that did my facial, but we'll get to that. I was going to say, don't forget to give us five stars, you know, in that podcast review. And in and, and our comment section, you could drop us a little note there in the comments outside of the live chat. Maybe tell us who you might want on as a future guest. Ooh. Tell us what you thought of the show, maybe what your favorite part was. We love that. We love feedback. So that's always good. And we so appreciate excited. all the, 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 the reposts. Like everybody's uh-huh. like, oh, don't forget to tune in. Don't forget yeah. to tune in. It's like it's amazing. Everybody's really supportive. Honestly, yeah. a little shout out to like Trey and Anthony and, and Leonard, everyone like Mickey D, everyone that's so lovely to like actually, by the way, they don't work for us. They're just wonderfully supportive and they just want to support our podcast and, um, and you know, promote what we're doing. So thank you guys. We love your tweets, your oh. tweets, your shares. Honestly, really. We love a good gif. Around we here, you. we see you. A good we gift. See, a we good love gift. a good gift. <laughs> no, I love you guys. <laughs> wow, look at those lashes. Creepy. Look at there. I don't have lashes on. These are the ones my mama gave me. Those are my natural oh, lash. Oh, they're beautiful. I made it weird. I made it weird. Sorry. I got too no, like a little camera. It happens. I like a good gift and I like a good eyeball action. I'm like, like a, a manual. Do you guys know a manual? Retina. You know a manual? Don't do it. Have you seen this yet? No. No. Oh my God. Okay. I'll send it to you. Um, everyone in the chat room, please chime in. If you've seen it, Eman- just Google the hashtag Emmanuel. Don't do it. Okay. It is an ostrich. That is a very precocious little ostrich that, uh, is on a farm account and he comes to the camera right about, right about here, right about here <laughs> and knocks over the camera. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Oh my God, we have to get her on the show. I'll send you guys a link. Remind We're going to get the ostrich okay. on the show. Maybe there's also, I think, a, a deer named Rodrigo. It's a whole family of critters. Oh. I also follow that duck, the duck that um, I, I think you were the one that shared it to me, Val. Um, Probably. there's a duck that's like with dogs and mm. loves the yep. dogs, and you, yep. you know what I mean? There's yeah. also a chunk, the groundhog that they have. A oh, no, I follow that. Yeah, he yeah, steals all of the. Would he be available for an interview? I'm sure he has an agent at this point. I mean, uh, it's be a yeah. lot of red tape. <laughs> we'll have so much just, to talk about. Mm. Yeah. That's the groundhog. Yeah. Like he just eats all day, all which day. They give me him- back to the fact that Mickey just said, comment below who you want to see. We keep, honestly, every show <laughs> we talk about like doing like a mukbang, like doing like a pizza party and eating on camera. It'd be hilarious. I'm still all for that. If you want to see yeah. it, tell us right now in the chat room right now. Who did, that. Who did I, I recently I see try to do like a mukbang challenge? After you had mentioned it, I recently saw someone on the social media. Chelsea, yeah. maybe? She maybe. Did. Maybe. It was a wrestler. Mm. I think oh. it was. It was a wrestler. Perhaps. It may have been a lady hey, Mickey, wrestler. I don't know of- if I would classify Chelsea as a lady wrestler. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> mic drop? Is that a mic drop, Val? Yes. Yes. Shots fired. Oh my goodness. I don't blame you. Speaking of wrestlers, so Mickey, um, by the way, we always talk about our current events and what's coming up for us. And we have a lot right. of interest. Mickey, Lisa, obviously do a lot of comic cons in the US and abroad. I'm in the UK, but Mickey, you're coming across the pond. I'm coming to, to see you, here. Val. Yes. Yes. I'm in coming Cardiff. to the Cardiff. <gasps> Yes. Get out of my head. WrestleFest. Yes. yes. WrestleFest, September 3rd in Cardiff. What a great lineup we have. We'll put the poster up here. Bret Hart, Tennille Dashwood, uh, Summer Ray, Nick Aldis, who's a personal favorite of all of us. I know him. Of course. You know I him. I know him. Um, yes. He's doing all right He's for himself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> National treasure, Nick Aldis. Um, a lot of great, the Mountie. It's a great lineup. Mm-hmm. It's, let's say Dorado, Kalisto, a really cool lineup of everybody. Um, you're Cardiff. forgetting one person. Ooh. Um, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, is going to be there. My oh. goodness. How Huge. could you for... Hooch! You know what? I've never met him, and I'm really excited to meet him. He seems like... 
is he not going to be our new best friend, Mickey? Come on. I feel like we should. And I, he's been at WWE. And it was like, I think I may have like, it was like a very brief, like, hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice, mm-hmm. whatever. And oh. he's a big man, by the way. Can I say? A giant gentleman. He, he is a giant gentleman. You know what? <laughs> I actually, I follow his wife. She's like really gorgeous and like does. Mm-hmm. Fun. Yeah, she's great on social media. So very excited to meet Mr. Fury. At uh-huh. uh, WrestleFest, it's going to be a great thing. Here's the deal, guys. If you are in the Cardiff area, and if you're not, hello, don't sleep under this. Don't be that guy that doesn't come. Come to the event. It is the pre-party to Clash at the Castle, UK mm-hmm. WrestleFest, Tyson Fury, Mickey James, Nick Aldis, all these fantastic names. I'll also be attending as well. Hello. And hosting yeah. it and like, talking to you guys and doing Are you the hostess with the mostest, Val? I, I just think there's free drinks. I think there's just free drinks. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm there for the Pinot Grigio. But yes, so do not miss it. UK WrestleFest, September 3rd in Cardiff. Can't wait to see you, Mickey, there and Nick as well. Uh, lots of fun things coming up. And of course, make sure that you're posted on our social media, uh, Gaw TV. And of course, Lisa, Mickey, and my social media. So you know all the updates that are coming. But mm-hmm. Cardiff, you better be ready. Get be ready. ready. And I'm going to hit that rock be- pier. I'm going to hit that rock pier hard. Right? Isn't Don't they have like the rocks that go out to the ocean? It's like that rocky kind of. Coast. Oh, really? And right there's there, a castle? Cardiff? There's the castle. The yeah. castle that actually has central air and heating. Is Maybe not haunted? air. Is it they haunted? do have electricity. Um, I, I would Probably. assume. Probably. I, went, I did a tour of that castle before it was beautiful i'll do it again and i tell you what i found super creepy was the damn nursery it was so oh. scary oh. it was like oh, all yeah, that... the fables but it, they're very dark the way that was done a little all bit the on the wall at the top of like the awning and I'm like oh god there's a child being murdered by a wolf there Oops. oh that's terrible just eating it that's fine thanks for the nightmares oh my yeah, thanks, god thanks Aesop. Yeah. yeah. Weirdly oh enough, God, speaking fact, about watching at home. Sorry, uh, Alan and but, I, uh, my husband and I, it's our first date was ever at Cardiff Castle. So. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah. Really? Excited to go back. Yeah. I thought it was oh. at the bar uh, where he was working, where you're flirting with them. But that wasn't weird. It wasn't a that date. Was just... I met him there. That was our first date. He came to Cardiff to meet me. We went to Cardiff Castle and a lovely uh, restaurant after that. But yeah, Cardiff is a magical place. Cardiff is magical. It's beautiful. The people are wonderful. And this is really where you want to be. If you're already going to WWE Castle, Castle, which by the way, I keep calling the Drew McIntyre show because it should be. This is the place you want to be, by the way. Right. Oh my God. So did when he took you on the date, did he take you? Did he take you to the hole where they throw the people down, where they threw the prisoners down the hole? Like, you know, know, it's like there wasn't like a jail, but they, but most people died, right? Because they would throw them in this hole and they'd probably break their leg or something. I'm very glad that Alan isn't here. I've seen this paranormal. (laughs) Now I know what you're talking about. It's very creepy. It's very like, you know, it's old. There's a lot of like, you just know there's a lot of history. Um, Yeah. I don't know how to answer this question because I don't want to be graphic, but like when you're that like in love and like your first kind of few, first few dates, we just kind of like made out the whole time. I don't remember seeing the castle at all. And oh, you're like, there's that death hole. Isn't well, that cute? It's so romantic. Let's dance around it. Yeah. Honestly, all I saw was Alan. I just, that's all yeah. I remember. It's Aww. so stupid. Yeah. It's so, yeah. That's a better story. I'm glad that's he's not here because he'd make fun of me. But yeah, it was yeah. just, it was our first okay. date. It was romantic because I love castles. I love history. But yeah, it was great. Yeah. Also, and speaking well, of castles, yeah. you got, oh yeah, me too. <gasps> Ooh, I, I got one too. I got one too. You want to open it? From Drunk Elephant. I'm not, I'm not in the U.S. to get my mail, unfortunately. Oh, well, I'm going to spoil it for, for you. Lisa, did you already open yours? Thank no, you, Drunk Elephant. No, I was waiting to open it. I forgot. Drunk Elephant. Doing it. Doing it. This is Littles. What is this? Oh, the Littles. So these like travel sizes? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Start here. That's amazing. Oh, they just added you open a it. new little look up. I'll read that. it. I'll read it. You open it. Welcome to the ingredient elimination philosophy for total skin reset. Morning and night. Listen to your skin and mix up a skincare smoothie based on what your skin needs. That, friends, is what we call a drunk break. How about that? Listen, I love a drunk break. I do love a drunk break. Don't I'm we so, all? I don't want to ruin the box because I like their packaging so much. Oh, You're look how so cute. funny. Oh, Let me look how perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh, look at this. 
Cute. You know what? Let me give a specific not, shout out to Ellie at Drunk Elephant. She yes. is like literally, she's like, if you need any refills, like she's just the most they spoil us at Drunk Elephant. Thank you guys. But and yeah. I will say my skin is just it feels amazing. So yes. They're yeah. so good. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Speaking okay. of amazing, speaking of amazing, we have an amazing guest. Do you like we that do. segment? I we did. have an amazing guest. I did. And speaking of castles and princesses, um, she's just amazing woman. I've wrestled her in the past in TNA and Drop Dead Gorgeous, an amazing mom. And let's introduce our next guest. Who is it? Miss Taylor Wild. Yes. Yay. The fans are going to love this one. They've been asking for her for so many, so many, well, years, really. Now that we've been. Yeah. yeah. They're going to go wild. They're going to go they wild. Literally. Listen, they're going to go Taylor Wild for this one. <laughs> I'll see myself out. In all due respect, here we go. Yay! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Taylor Wilde, can I just be super honest and say you look more gorgeous than effing ever? You look beautiful. How have you been? I'm really good, actually. Like, honestly, I've been through so much, especially in the past two years. Uh, but this is literally the most internally happy I've ever felt. So I feel like whatever you see on the outside is just simply I'm I'm me I'm really me and living my true self and my best life so thank you you guys always oh, oh. no that's so amazing you. you look so gorgeous honestly I'm like wow we, what <laughs> babe alert babe alert <laughs> yes. yes I'm so Absolutely. happy to hear you say that too because I see you out there doing all the things I stalk you on Instagram Yes, girl. I was on your podcast. Yes. You know, we cross paths and impact like thieves in the night. We never have wrestled each other, but I know Lisa, you have wrestled Taylor a bunch. Yeah. Um, yes. I'm so excited to talk to you. You're Thank amazing. You so much for having me on. I really, really yeah. appreciate it. I'm oh, so course. honored and excited. I love you all. I've worked with all of you at different times in my career. It's a, this is like a really like a, it's a, a reunion. It is. Yeah, it's a reunion. That's, that's what we love to do. <laughs> That's what we love. One of our first things we like to do on our show is who you drinking, what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you have, hey, it's a little hashtag thing. It's a little fancy little tagline. Okay. Oh, who starts? Do I start? Well, yes. go ahead. I think you're the guest of honor. You should start with, I mean, no press, no press. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm drinking Partake, which is actually a non-alcoholic beer. Uh -huh. um, they make a pale ale, an IPA, a stout, and like a rosé. Uh, I haven't had a drink since January 1st, and it was just kind of an organic thing. Um, you know, with my divorce, with being a first responder during COVID, I was drinking way more, uh, just coping with stress. And then one day I was like, I don't, I'm not really enjoying this anymore. So right. I stopped drinking and honestly like the mechanics of just having a beer i don't need the alcohol for me it's been like the best decision i've ever made so uh um, wow you know, yeah good for you thanks wow, good for that. you <laughs> we were explaining to you like we have a lot of guests that just are like okay i'm you know we don't they don't drink whatever and like right. i always go is it weird to cheers our alcohol to the but like i hope you know that we're proud oh. of you and everyone has their own personal journey their own personal opinion of, of how alcohol affects them i just think we're we're proud of you no matter what so cheers thank you cheers yeah. to that yeah. and yeah. i'm wearing zara from head to toe because that's where i'm at in my life i yes. love zara good yes. for you darling thank you thank you I'm just wearing my little Gaw TV tank top. It's just a, it's a shirt that you can get in our store. Hold on. I love Don't it. Yeah, it's a little tank top. It matches my pillow. Yep. Sure <laughs> it does. matches my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> and a little cup of tea, love. Oh, tea. I know. It's a spot of tea. A tea. A tea. I did. And this cup says, you're the best, or it used to say it. I don't know. It's kind of faded because oh, yeah. I, I have, you know, when I cut my hand around my cup, <laughs> Okay, so Mickey, are you like some people like when they have like coffee, I'm a cupper. They, they do this like I'm they, a cup of cupper only with person. only with a warm beverage, not with a cold beverage because I don't like to be cold. And so then yeah. I kind of like teat it like this, like I'm like a little <laughs> he and I try to find yeah. a stem or like okay. the little area that I don't have to touch the glass, but a warm one. You try to like cup it for like, warm your hands like a little. Yeah, like a little hand warmer. I love yes. That. 
Um, <laughs> yes. We'll let Lisa go last if you because just because I know she has like burning questions to ask you, Taylor Wilde. I will say I am just I'm wearing a little Primark, uh, you know, mm -hmm. favorite. I uh, a little lemon squeezy outfit. By the way, Ella, who hopefully is in the chat room right now, this is her headband. Uh, oh, shout oh. out! She loves a headband. This is it's very subtle. First of all, which I <laughs> think not very subtle. It basically you know, blends. I can't even see it. Listen, <laughs> now you're going for a grocery run, whatever. Big uh, shout out to Ella. <laughs> a grocery headband. run. You know, you know. Just super cash. Down to check I the am mail. Drinking my favorite, which is not very expensive, but it's. I'm just gonna. Okay, you know. I'm, I have no shame. It's like a $7.99 Oyster Bay, New Zealand okay. uh, Sauvignon Blanc, which I have gotten to be wine snobby in the sense that if it's Sauvignon Blanc, the French version of Sauvignon Blanc, I'm not a fan of. Everything oh. else in France I love has to be. Sorry, New Anthony. New Sorry, Anthony. Anthony, we love you. <laughs> Pardon. <but> yes. <laughs> Pardon, moi. Um, I love a New Zealand Sauvignon. It's a little grassier, a little more lemon zesty. In my little glass, my best friend Aaron got this for me. It says, uh, looks like a beauty, drinks like a beast. <laughs> and that's what I plan to do tonight. So yes. cheers. Lisa, cheers you to you. Um, you know, I'm just drinking um a little Cabernet, you know, um, my last bottle. I was gonna go run across the street to CVS and get my really top shelf there, which is you bottom fancy. shelf. Because I'm fancy like that. You and are. I'm just um Basically, my 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 normal pajamas. I do cameo, nice. which is September twenty seventh. My live one on one chit chat on Ooh. on cameo for thirty minutes. Only six members um are allowed to go, come in, but um I've been enjoying these um live cameo one on ones. You guys, I know you, you were saying. I was talking to you guys about that. Um, you could do a live one on one chit chat in the last like thirty seconds. It does a countdown. Goes three too and you take a picture with the person and they oh, get it sent cute. to them and myself Aww. it's really it's cool and it has a timer and it's just and if someone gets any snooty or creepy yeah. there's a end call right there and block oh, yeah so yeah it's it's That's amazing, nice it's, amazing. Control. it's also nice they get yeah. a little like uh, you know souvenir or you know memento at the end a photo with you is nice it's neat oh, it's nice. neat i like it i enjoy it cameo I'm is great and honestly don't you agree lisa like the, the people at cameo that the um customer service is very very lovely yeah they're really nice people they're with it they're with it they get back to me if i um text right which not to speak highly about other apps you know I like you don't get an app you don't get a response back like it's like hello is someone helping me with this? It's me. Hello. Anybody work here? Yeah. You no. sign me up and you get the okay, automated. We up. That's it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get the automated response back. Yeah. Yes. Someone will be back with you, you know, that within 24 hours. I apologize. Right. I keep having to mute my microphone because Donovan has come up here and he's decided to start all his trains up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Donovan oh loves trains. No train. problem. Obsessed. Hashtag Adorable. baby D loves yeah. trains. He loves it yeah. so much. Yeah. 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 So, well, Taylor yeah. Wilde, I have to tell you. So, obviously, we'll talk about all of our amazing. She's going to double memories. name you the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. No, but, but but Taylor, we're so excited to talk to you. Can you please, first of all, you've been so busy uh, with you know, momming it's so hard in real life, but you also are maintaining your career, which includes your Wild On podcast. Which, by the way, explain if people have never seen your podcast or heard your podcast. It's also on YouTube, by the way, though. So it's visual and audio uh, podcast. Um, what can they expect to hear from your interviews? With You have a lot of amazing guests so far, but let us know about that. Sure. Um, so there's so many professional wrestling podcasts out there. And aside from sure. you guys and us and I think a few other up and comers, it's been saturated by men. Um, you know, which is a, a lot of sports related things. Sure. Uh, no! but <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Boo, man. <laughs> don't they get enough honestly <laughs> serious love them can't live without them though mm -hmm. can't live with them can't live without them <laughs> but uh yeah so i started wild on during the pandemic after 10 years of retirement wanting to reintegrate myself into the professional wrestling world and knowing women such as yourselves, my, my sisters, my friends who are these incredible professional wrestlers, but so little is known about who they are as people. Like if you wiki any of us, height, weight, where we're from, what our accolades are in wrestling. And it's like, you know, whenever you hear an interview, it's the same kind of questions. Um, your favorite match, you know, just like very factual based. And I thought, 
well, all these women I know are so much more. They're moms, they're artists, they're singers, they're entrepreneurs. They have so much more going on. And it's a conversational style interview, much like this. And these are my friends, you know? So it's mm -hmm. it's like people are getting like a voyeuristic sort of experience where we don't even really talk that much about wrestling. The wrestling component right. is we are wrestlers and you will listen to everything we have to talk about. Right. And uh, yeah, it's been a really enjoyable experience. We did really well over the course of two years. We have roughly 50,000 downloads. And like you said, we're available everywhere where you enjoy listening to podcasts. And the YouTube channel has actually really taken off. Uh, it's a whole other beast. And I think we're actually moving more towards that. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, I've got a team of women. It's an all women's show, uh, producer, editor, assistant, sound engineer, everyone's a woman. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a really incredible experience and I'm, that's kind of my baby. That's what I'm trying to grow. Right. We're so proud of that. I, I know, I know Lisa and Mickey have a lot of questions, but I one final question for me before I get to them. Um, so again, first of all, so proud of you because that's the same thing that we're trying to do. You have the same kind of heart that we do, female empowerment, yes. you know, not the basic interview, like where'd you get started in wrestling? That's what we're yeah. You know, Taylor, we, we, you know, you do oh, interviews yeah. all the time. It's the same questions. So we are so supportive of that. We think it's so cool. You're getting those like, you know, um, candid interviews. But quick question for me before we go to Lisa and Mickey. Uh, are there any particular favorite interviews that you've done? Because you've had quite a few episodes now. So are yeah. there things that stick out in your mind like that you were like, wow, I really loved that interview. If fans are now for the first time hearing about Wild on Podcast, yeah. what would you recommend them hearing first? Oh, you, you know God. what? She, you can see her thinking. She's like, I don't want to bury anybody. <laughs> and that, <laughs> I, I don't mean you to play favorite. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm like if someone's like, they don't know your podcast, they might go, oh my God, I want to tune in. Um, what would you recommend that you thought was a right. really good interview for you personally? Like you, who was what? your favorite guest and why was it me? Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I had a ton of fun on your podcast oh, yeah. and it was so professional too. and it's well. And when I watched it back, it was done. Yeah. And your team is great. And I just Thank love you. it. Plus I just love seeing you just live in your authentic self right now. Oh, we'll get yeah. to that in a minute, but go ahead. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Favorite no, guest and go. I had fun as well on your show too. I had fun. I just Thank like, you. it's and just, I it was just like, yeah, you I do. I said before we started, I was like, I would, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it. I would love to. Oh my God, girl. Okay. Totally, totally. But yeah. But yeah. again, I, I, I don't make you play favorites. I just thought that like, <laughs> if, a, if a fan has been like, oh, I'll check in. But if there's one that you think I really loved this episode and like with our show, for example, sorry to keep talking, but like, Whoa. there are some that we thought would be like super, super informative. And we were like, ah, but there are some we go, wow, we actually didn't know this would be like super, super um, popular. So for yes. you, what was the, what are a couple that you thought, wow, these are ones that I really enjoyed or that fans really enjoyed. They should sure. Hear. For me, it's, it's so hard because when I have women like Mickey and Victoria, Tara, Lisa Marie, however many names we want to say, um, <laughs> you know, like we know each other, we know each other's kind of story. We know how we banter. So it's an enjoyable experience because it's like having a phone call with a girlfriend, but yeah. I really enjoyed having all these like up and comers that I never got to meet in a professional sense, like mm -hmm. uh, Tony Storm and Tegan Knox. And every time I talk to them, we become like fast friends, just like any, any sister you meet in the wrestling world, you don't know each other. And within sure. minutes you're like, did we have fast lives together? Cause this is the best. Yeah. Uh, but I would say my favorite interview is, uh, Probably Samoa Joe because yes. oh yeah he was Joseph uh, he's he was honestly my best friend in when I was with TNA like he's been a true blue to me like I have so many incredible girlfriends and uh, he's just been that one person in my life that I've always been able to reach out to you know if we go months or sometimes even years he's always there he's always a good laugh but that episode in particular was us after having talked for you know a few years because I'd been out of wrestling just me reconfirming all these drunken shenanigans that I had with him while overseas and I was like did this happen so <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> and he remembers everything like an elephant exactly it's the worst. yeah i'm it's, like you're too how do you but joe is the best brother brother 
there's something about that Samoan gene and booze because he will put <laughs> so much booze on you. <laughs> not doing it to be a dick. He's like, let's have all the fun. Yeah. <laughs> He's never. Here it is. Let's have I've it. never seen him like out of control. He's what he, he he's one of those horrible people that can like really handle any alcohol and always be in control and elegant. Like that's him. Yeah. Yeah. That's Pretty him. much an asshole we is what him. he is. He's an yeah. asshole. But we love Joe. Joe's he's the- he's he's blunt and he's like to the point. Um, but he is a freaking soft. No, he's a like, sweetheart. Teddy bear and this the whole Samoan freaking family. Like they just. I agree. Are, it's just family. You yeah. feel like family. Yeah. You're close so with them that the- yeah. So is that is that kind of a good place for for maybe like new fans that haven't listened to your podcast to start? Like, was it was it something that that you guys talked about your TNA ventures together? They should be privy to. Yeah, yeah. So it was literally every time we went overseas, Joe, I'm so introverted. I never wanted to go out. So Joe would always be banging on my door being like, you're going out. And I would be so (laughs) thankful because in the end, I would have had the best time. But otherwise, I'm just like, I just want to wash off my makeup and watch German TV. That's going to be horrible. But (laughs) It's literally just all these road stories where we ended up in like the red light district in Germany or yeah, it was a birthday. It was like my 21st birthday at TNA and I'd wrestled all day. I probably didn't eat enough dinner. I was barfing by 11. He had to carry me back to the hotel. We had oh. tapings the next day, stuff like that. Like really mm-hmm. like, just like pretty candid shit. <laughs> and, and he That's also so like fun. took care of the girls. He would never take advantage and like, just like in that drunken yeah. state. Like he, he was, was like, the best. He, big he, was he was like, like a really big angel. brother. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He, he's yeah. a brother, brother. Like he he's would, the best would brother, brother. never worry about that with him. And if any girl was, you know, out of sorts, any person out of sorts to inebriated, whatever, I would say, Joe, can you please look after that? Cause he's one of those guys. He knows someone everywhere too yeah he's like i know a guy who I'll, I'll get her taken care of we'll get yeah. her home <laughs> you know, I, feel like I know awesome. a guy <laughs> yeah he, he, it's amazing and he i think you guys can all attest to this he's just one of those guys that's just like knows everybody takes care of it and also when, when things get a little crazy he's always like kind of like looking for problems to arise and he's gonna solve them he's just a really yeah. good protector yeah. he's our guardian angel at least for yeah, me yeah yeah That's why he's had such a successful career too. Like he's obviously extremely talented. He's always been so business minded. He's always had a good manager. He's like everybody's brother. He's so much fun. Boy, oh boy. He's got laser focus. And look at the career he's had. He's amazing. Yeah, Yeah. he's amazing. He really is. And he's steady. Like he's the same. You know, to like, Samoa like, Joe. To Samoa, Samoa Joe. Joe. Oh, cheers. We love you, Joe. I love him. Yeah, we I love love him. Like my older brother. Brosive. I love him so much. Yeah, cheers. I know. We, we love you. Guys. And we thank you so much for giving me a platform to speak with women I respect so much and love and share my story. And hopefully, you know, this this helps. We should do this all the time. Let's, Can we do yeah. it all the time? Can oh we do my share? gosh. Sure. People, like, honestly, we'll, we'll have, love to have you back. But as a as a final thing for you to come to uh all of our Gaw TV fans and like maybe give them a little bit of inspiration or and or tell them where they can follow you. Obviously, we're going to put a lot in the description here on YouTube, but any final words for your fans around the world, Taylor Wilde? Sure. Well, Instagram, Twitter, you can find me at Real Taylor Wilde with an E. The Wild On podcast is available anywhere you enjoy podcasts, including YouTube. And um, just let your freak flag fly. Just be yeah. you. Yes, I love that. Short. <laughs> it is too short. Oh my god. That's and great. I still want to wrestle you. Oh, I know. You know. I know. Oh no. Well, yeah. Taylor, are you? You're not active anymore. Would you, would you come out of retirement to face our Mickey James? Oh God, yeah. We'll so both I'm, come out I'm, of retirement. Yeah. So uh, yeah, like, yeah. Because right? Mickey announced a retirement too. Uh, well, yeah. it didn't say that. No, I didn't know. I didn't. I said okay. that I think I'm done. Mickey, Mickey. Oh, you did? Because I, everybody will get into that. We'll get into that. Yeah. yeah. Rick Flair yeah. is also retired. So come on. Yeah. Did- I'm, I, for Mickey, for all of you, I would do anything for any of you, truthfully. But yeah, Mickey and I still need our run. So mm-hmm. someone needs to book it. We need our run. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you need that hot angle. Hey, book me. I'll roll out the carpet for you guys to go in the ring. So okay. if there are promoters watching at the event, uh, Lisa will be the red carpet, you know, person. Uh, <laughs> Mickey and Taylor will wrestle and yeah. I will host the after party with many a shot for yes. you. And the announcements. I Say think it's a great plan. Say less. Yeah. That sounds great. Yes. Sounds Cheers, great. guys. 
Okay. I love you guys. I love, I love you. Guys. Love you. Kayla, so thank you so time. much. Please come back. Please thank come you. back. Yes. yes. We love you. Wow. wow. This is the word. Go, yo, go.